you can mark positions in the drawing by entering latitude and longitude data or by picking points. And for GPS enabled systems, you can even place points using your current location. Suppose that while visiting the site, you noted that there is a water shutoff valve located near the end of the driveway to the south of the house. You can mark its geographic position in the drawing. To do so, on the Geolocation ribbon, in the Tools panel, expand the Mark Position Split button and choose the Point tool. The program prompts you to specify a point. Zoom in a bit, turn off Running Object Snap, and then click to select the point corresponding to the water shutoff valve. As soon as you do, the Text Editor contextual ribbon becomes active so that you can enter notes associated with the point you are specifying. In the ribbon, change the text height to 12 units and adjust the width of the text box. Then type Existing Water Shutoff Valve. and then click the Close Text Editor button. The marker you just added consists of a point, a leader, and text, and you can modify any of those elements as you would any other drawing object. For example, zoom in, select the marker, and then use grips to relocate the text. Then press Escape to deselect the marker and zoom back out. When you double-click the text, you can use the tools in the Text Editor contextual ribbon to modify the text. Adjust the width of the text box, and then click Close Text Editor. If you know the latitude and longitude of a location within your drawing, you can insert a marker at the point corresponding to that location in model space. For example, Suppose the surveyor has provided you with the latitude and longitude of the northwest corner of the property line. Zoom out so that you can see the entire site plan. On the Geolocation ribbon, in the Tools panel, the Mark Position tool has floated to the top of the Split button. To mark the known latitude and longitude in the drawing, expand the Split button again and choose the Lat Long tool. The program prompts you to specify the latitude. Type 48.743354 and press Enter. The program then prompts you to specify the longitude. Type negative 122.44318 and press Enter. Again, the Text Editor contextual ribbon becomes active, and you can see the text cursor in the drawing. Change the text height to 12 units, adjust the width of the text box, type Northwest Corner, and then click the Close Text Editor button. Zoom in on the new marker and use grips to adjust it as needed. Regardless of how you initially place these markers, you can select them, move them, edit them, and delete them without changing any of the geographic location data. Also note that if you select one of the markers, you can also open the Properties palette and adjust any of its properties, including its latitude, longitude, and elevation. You can also change the size of the marker, by adjusting its size value. If your system is GPS enabled, you can also expand the split button and use the My Location tool to place a marker at your current location in the drawing. If you do not have GPS capabilities, the program simply reports that it is unable to determine your current location.